The powwow celebration is a traditional gathering of tribes to celebrate their culture, life, and family, and to renew friendships. One of the special events at the powwow is the hand game, a form of gambling that predates Nevada's gaming industry by thousands of years. Our people of this tribe, Reno Sparks Indian Colony, the Paiute Shoshones and the Washos, have been playing this for a long time. And what we, um, we're doing is bringing back an old tradition. Uh, people um, play for beaded jewelry. They play for nice material things. Or like us, we just play it straight for money. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time, thousands of years, or as far back as we can remember. And it's a really fun game. We got, it looks like we got a team on this side going, and then it looks like we got a team on that side. So once everybody gets all bet together, then we're going to go ahead and play against each other. Now these two, they're going to bet. Um, they're matching bets right now. So people bring all the material things that they're going to bet with. There's a guessing game that we use with sticks. And each team starts off with five sticks, and we got um, two sets of bones. And what we do is we guess until one team wins all 10 of the sticks. And once all 10 of the sticks are won, then that's when you win the game. When we hide, one side will sing while the other points against them. And what you're trying to do is get those bones back because when, when you miss a certain point, when you miss a certain point, then you got to throw a stick across because you missed. So that's how you win points in the game. And we sing songs to try to throw the other team off. Because people use uh, lots of different fancy techniques, a lot of different songs. Some people use drums, some people use sticks. All right, everybody, we're gonna um, have this open game. So like I said, um, he got two sets of five with the 11 stick right there is going in his, he's gonna stash it away and not use it. And he's gonna offer me five. Then he'll shake my hand. Then what he's gonna do is try to make me guess for this, this one right here. But I'm gonna be shooting for that one right there. So we see we start the game. If I can guess him and he can miss me, then we're gonna start singing on our side. Or should I say win? <laughs> well, a long time ago, um, people would you know bet their fancy things that they had because we didn't really have material things like um, gold and diamonds and things like that. So. What we do is what we what meant a lot to us was uh, like bone jewelry and tools and um, food, things that we can eat. I guess the stripe. Around here in Nevada, uh, they used to, I know that they used to be a pine nuts to it with our people because my family's originally from the colony in Reno, but um, my grandma's family comes from McDermott, Nevada. And I know that they used to play for um, the pine nuts. Well, it's really unique to Native Americans out west because we play it from all the way from uh, northern Arizona and California, southern California, all the way up into Canada. Uh, there's a, a couple variations of the game, but it's pretty much the same game wherever you go. Uh, there's probably hundreds of thousands of people who play the game and a lot of different tribes. Almost every tribe in the west plays hand game. So that's the hand game. <laughs>